In Group 3 Rugby League, Port City has won this afternoon's Battle of the Hastings, played in soggy conditions at Warhope. The Breakers took out the highly anticipated match by just two points. In other rate, Round 8 clashes, the Taree City Bulls upset reigning premiers, the Foster Tuncurry Hawks, and the Old Bar Pirates continued their strong form, beating the Wingham Tigers by 14. Coming off a morale-boosting win over the Port City Breakers last week, the Old Bar Pirates were eager to maintain the momentum in front of a home ground crowd. In soggy conditions at Tradfield, the Pirates and the Wingham Tigers played out a hard-fought battle. The lead seesawed throughout the match as both sides tried to gain the upper hand. But it was the individual brilliance of Old Bar winger Joel Campbell that turned the tide of the match. After making its way through five sets of Pirates' hands, the ball finally rested with Campbell, who went over for his third try of the match. The sideline conversion by Matt Everett putting the result beyond doubt. The final score, Old Bar 30 to Wingham 16. Both sides will again be in the thick of it next week when the Pirates take on a powerhouse Warhope Blues outfit and the Tigers come up against the informed Tari City Bulls. Lynn Laleen, NBN News. To Mid-North Coast Rugby Union and Coffs Harbour remains the team to beat this season after a convincing win over Port Macquarie Pirates. The Hastings Valley was too strong for South West Rocks, while the Uni Boys served up a rugby lesson to the Kempsey Cannonballs. In the Southern competition, the Foster Dolphins remain unbeaten after smashing Mile Coast, while Willamba and Gloucester also recorded big wins. In Mid-North Coast Premier League football, the Taree Wildcats remain on top of the ladder after beating the Old Bar Barbarians by two goals. Port Macquarie FC is still hot on the Wildcats' heels, winning their Round 8 match with a five-goal victory over the Kempsey Saints. Foster Tung Curry just scraped home over Port Saints. While Wallace Lake downed the Camden Haven Redbacks and the McClay Valley Rangers beat Port United by one goal.